Okay, we'll start with a lateral with Emma. So I'm going to put her on the table. And whichever lateral I'm going to put her in is the hand that I need to scruff. So I'm, a, I'm going to put her in right lateral. I'm going to scruff with my right hand and put her on her right side. If I want her left lateral, I will do the opposite and scruff her with her left. So I typically take my cats, put them away from me, grab the scruff, and you need a good scruff. Okay. And I'm going to scoop underneath, keeping my arm along her spine, up, lay them on their side. Stretch. Okay. So she is in right lateral and I'm scruffing with my right arm. To release a lateral, we're going to let go of what does not bite us, and that is her legs. So I'll let go, put my hand on her abdomen, scoop her up, and put her on my hip. Okay. So now we're going to show you a moral hold. So again, this time I'll switch her to left lateral, left hand, scoop underneath, finger between the legs, up, turn, supporting her spine, stretch. So there's my lateral. Now I'm going to occlude the medial femoral. So what I do is I just bring my hand up. I'm still holding her right leg, pulling to her body. TJ is pulling her leg out. I'm going to occlude that vessel by applying pressure. And he's going to put a little bit of alcohol on, just like he'd be getting ready to draw blood from this vessel. So there's nothing I can do about her front leg, so TJ is being very careful not to It'd help if I occlude it better. <laughs> okay, so if you guys, if you can see in there, ah, ah, ah. It's all right. The vessel is up because of the occlusion. Okay. Right there. Okay. Now I'm going to release her so TJ would let go, grab her abdomen, and put her back on my hip.